Hello all. Welcome to our YouTube channel Electronics on Wheels. As we said in the last video of manufacturing process that next video we will create on bill of material. And many of our subscribers has requested to create the video on BOM. As you can see here are subscribers Sadesh and Aji and Smirconnect. If you want to support this initiative, you can support us by joining this channel as a member. We are going to bring good videos on this channel. Please support us. Let's start with bill of material. Today we will try to cover the below mentioned topics. What is bill of material? How to get the bill of material? Why bill of material is required in manufacturing process? And last we will see the one example where we will see how to extract the BOM information from 2D drawing. And we will see the template of BOM as well. Starting with what is bill of material? The bill of materials, BOM, for a wiring harness is a document that contains a detailed list of all materials, components, and electrical components required to manufacture or assemble a specific cable harness. The production BOM also contains key information about logistics, like information about the required quantities, suppliers, it also contains references to the technical drawing of the wiring harness, indicating where the component is used. Our next point is how to get the bill of materials and its content. Bill of material is generally extracted from the 2D drawing of wiring harness. 2D drawing contains the below information. One number of connectors. Two wire type. Three cross section of wire and its color. 4 terminal information, 5 insulation and shielding, 6 labels and markings, 7 miscellaneous and so on. We will see all these information in detail in upcoming slides. Now let's try to understand that why bill of material is important in wiring harness manufacturing process. The BOM is essential in the process of designing, manufacturing and maintaining a wiring harness because it allows for precise determination of the quantity and types of elements needed, as well as quality control and consistency of production. It is also an indispensable source of information for the purchasing department or costing department. Why it's important for purchasing department because one budget is allocated to your wiring harness project and in that budget itself, you need to manage your wiring harness cost. Therefore, to get the detailed information about the quantity of each component is very much required for costing or purchasing department. Bill of materials serves as a reference for purchasing, manufacturing, and quality control departments, ensuring consistency and accuracy throughout the manufacturing or assembly process. Bill of materials also facilitating inventory management cost forecasting, and optimization of the cable harness design in terms of efficiency, reliability, and production costs. Bill of Materials is a vital document that ensures smooth and accurate production processes, effective communication, and optimized product design. It plays a fundamental role in various aspects of manufacturing, from procurement to quality control. Moving to our next topic, that is bill of material example. As you can see on right side, this is the format or template for bill of material which contains item numbers, quantities, units of measurements, manufacturers or supplier for that component, manufacturers or supplier part numbers, MPNs, descriptions of that component means what is that component. Now question comes, how to get this information from 2D drawings. Coming to the 2D drawing of wiring harness. This is the 2D drawing which supplier receives from OEM and based on this drawing, bill of material is created. This drawing will consist wire list and connector list which contains most of the information to create the bill of material. Let's see how wire list and connector details looks like. Moving to the wire list from 2D drawing. So as you see right side this the wire list of complete 2D drawing that it contains. One wire circuit name. Two wire part number. Three length. For reference description from. Five part number and pin number. 
Similarly, for the decide also. From this table, you will get the information which help you to create the bill of material. If you come to connector slash component, this particular table contains below information which will also help you to build the BOM. One connector pin number, two wire code, three wire color, for wire size, five seal, six terminal slash plug number. You can get additional information as well. For better understanding, if I describe the information about components of bill of material then, it's like this. Wires and cables contains information about types of cables and wires, their lengths, sections, and colors. Connectors specifies the kind, type, number, and connection method of connectors in the cable bundle. Terminals, so-called pins or contacts. Some connectors and contacts are supplied separately. It is therefore necessary to indicate information identifying the component, the supplier, and the quantities actually needed for final cable harness. Insulation and shielding indicates the insulating materials, shielding, and electromagnetic shielding that protect the wire harness. Mounting hardware assembly accessories indicates any hardware that will be used to assemble and secure the cable harness, such as tapes, ties, clamps, etc. Gaskets and plugs, in order to ensure the hermeticity of the cable bundle, especially in the area of connectors, special terminal gaskets are used. And if there is an empty field in the connector without a terminal, very often dedicated plugs are used. Additional items for more complex cable harnesses, the BOM may contain information about additional items such as switches, diodes, fuses, etc. Labels and markings may contain information about labels and markings to be used to identify individual wires or connectors. This is one of the BOM format where you can see the different information like component type is back shell with generic part number and quantity is 1. However, even its generic part number, most of the time specific part number will be assigned to the components. Similarly, you can see for the other components like heat shrink which has the part number HS14021P with dimension and quantity descriptions. So you can see, almost all the components are the part this BOM table. You can see under type we have back shell, rubber boot, cable, connector, cap, grommet, heat shrink, label, lock, plastic cap, terminal, sleeve, wire, and zip tie. I hope that you understand what is the BOM and how we get it. If you have any doubt, please leave the comment in comment section. That's all for today. If you like the content of this channel, please like, subscribe, and comment. We keep the target of 100 comments on this video. Please support us in this journey by joining us a member as well. Thank you all.